Getting started with mathematics can be really difficult. I've made a few videos on the subject and usually I recommend several books and a very specific order for which you can get started. But in this video, I want to do something a little bit different. I'm gonna show you this book, which you can actually use to learn mathematics with zero knowledge. That's right. If you don't know any math, you can actually pick up this book and it's a big fat notebook, it really is. And you can learn a ton of mathematics with just this one book. I'm also going to show you how to actually use this book to learn math. I'm going to give you some tips that you can follow that will help maximize your study time so you can learn as much math in as little time as possible. But before I do that, I just wanna say thank you to the person who recommended this book. There was a comment in the channel a few days ago and someone said something about this book. So I went online, I found the book, it was really affordable, so I bought it. If you're interested in this book, I will leave a link in the description to the book. Okay, let's go ahead and open up this book. The Complete High School Study Guide, everything you need to ace pre-algebra and algebra one in one big fat notebook. So first we'll go through the contents and then I'll show you how to actually use this book. So this is broken up into units and chapters. So for example, unit one is on arithmetic properties and it has three little sub chapters. And after each chapter, you actually have exercises and you have answers to all of the exercises. Unit two is on the number system. So really, really basic math. Unit three is on ratios, proportions, and percent. And unit four is on exponents and algebraic expressions. Again, stuff that is really basic. So if you have zero knowledge, this book is perfect. Unit five goes into linear equations and inequalities. Six is on graphing linear equations and inequalities. Seven is on statistics and probability. So this will help you even if you're already taking a stats course, you can use this to get better. Eight is on functions and nine is on polynomial operations. 10 is on factoring. 11 is on radicals. 12 is on quadratic equations and 13 is on quadratic functions. So even though there are 13 units, there's actually 68 chapters and you have exercises for every single one of those chapters with solutions. So how do you actually use this book to learn math? Well, I've got some supplies here and I think supplies are really important. So besides the book, I also have some paper and this paper has no lines. And I personally think that using paper with no lines is better because it doesn't restrict your writing. In math, a lot of times you have funny symbols and stuff. And so it doesn't fit between the lines. This paper lets you break free from those lines. And I think it's really good. I'll leave a link in the description to all of these supplies. This paper, by the way, is especially thick. This is some of the thickest paper I've ever used. It's really awesome. As far as pencils, I like to use this one here. This is a Ticonderoga pencil. There's different pencils you can use. Some people prefer pen. Currently, this is what I use to do all of my mathematics. And a timer. This thing is awesome. You can use this to set a time. I personally like to use an hour, and that's the maximum that this timer goes for. And I personally don't think that's a problem, right? One hour is plenty of time. And this timer is awesome because when it's done, it makes a little sound like this. And that means time is up. The big advantage of using a timer over your phone is that your phone is a huge distraction. So this thing is awesome. And again, I'll leave a link in the description in case you're curious. And of course a sharpener. I prefer a non-mechanical sharpener. This one is pretty good and I've had it for several months. All right, so how do you actually learn? You've got your supplies, what do you do next? So you have your supplies, you're ready to go, you open the book, and assuming you know zero math, you would start with unit one, arithmetic properties. So you open it up, and you'll notice that this book is laid out kind of like a series of notes. It's better than a regular book in the sense that it's more brief. So here it talks about natural numbers, and it gives you some examples, whole numbers and examples. So you basically read through all of these things here very carefully, and then you make notes as you go. Let me show you. So here are some simple notes that I made based off of those first two pages. And notice how messy my handwriting is. That's the nice thing about these notes. You can throw these away. You don't need to keep these because the book itself is almost like a series of wonderful notes. And then you just keep going. Here it talks about irrational numbers. Then it talks about real numbers. And it gives you some examples. And there's a really beautiful diagram here that explains how they're all related. So after you go through the book and read everything and write down your notes on actual paper, and again, I wanna emphasize how important it is to like, you know, write things down like this because it really helps you. You learn math by reading and by writing. Well, you get to the part where you have the actual exercises. 
says for questions one through 10, classify each number in as many categories as possible. So basically now what you do is you try to answer all of these questions and look at this, answers. You don't even have to go to the back of the book. All you do is turn the page and you have all the answers right here, which is absolutely amazing. And the book follows this pattern throughout. Really, really awesome. Let's take a look at chapter 42, which is on probability, which is a very, very important topic because I often feel like it's misrepresented and people don't do it correctly. This book is awesome. Here it says, probability is the likelihood that an event will happen. It is a number between zero and one and can be written as a percent. So it gives you some intuition. And the key point is that probability is a number that describes something that has yet to occur. And here it even tells you again, probability equals how likely something will happen. The simplest example is flipping a coin. When we flip two coins, they can land on heads or tails. The action is what is happening. The outcomes are all of the possible results. The event is any outcome or group of outcomes. And it just really goes through and just basically explains how to compute probabilities. And it does so in a really wonderful way and in a very correct way. Here are some of the exercises for the section on probability. Use the spinner to answer questions one through three. What is the probability of landing on red? What is the probability of landing on yellow or red? What is the probability of not landing on blue? And then there's some other problems here as well. And when you turn the page, again, you have answers to all of the questions, which again is absolutely amazing. And it's all in this one big fat notebook. This thing is ridiculous. Before I forget, I should tell you something really incredible about this book. So not only is this a great book for learning math with zero knowledge, and it contains tons of information. The quality of this book is incredible. I have zero books that are made this way. I, it's a soft cover, but like, it just feels really well made. It just feels like you can just slam it down and just, I'm gonna do it, I'm just gonna drop it. I mean, it just feels solid. And I feel like this book could take a lot of abuse. The pages themselves are also really, really good quality, and I just have to give it a whiff. Ah, smells really, really good. Also, even though the book says it's the complete high school study guide and it has everything you need to ace pre-algebra and algebra one, this book actually contains content you will see in other courses. So if you ever go to college and take a class like intermediate algebra or even the one before it or college algebra or even pre-calc or even statistics, you're going to see a lot of the material that's in this book. So this book has a lot of the basic math you need in order to learn just basic mathematics. Chapter 44 is on counting. In particular, it discusses permutations and combinations. It says here, a permutation is an arrangement of things in which the order is important. A permutation is like an ordered combination. Then here it tells you, a combination is an arrangement in which order is not important. Then it gives you examples and goes through and explains everything really quite well. Just as a joke, a combination lock is not really a combination lock because in the combination lock, the order does matter. So it technically should be called a permutation lock. Overall, I think this is a great way to learn math if you have zero knowledge. Remember, when you use this book, it's always good to have a timer. That way you know you have some focused study time. Pick your favorite pen or pencil. A good sharpener is always helpful and some high quality paper also helps. Take notes as you read through the book and then when you decide to work out the problems, it's up to you if you decide to write in the book. You can see here there's room to actually write in the book and then you just turn the page and then you can check your answers. If you're like me and you have a bit of a problem writing in books, what you can do is you can just write here on paper and then just check your answers in the book. So yeah, great book. Thank you to the subscriber who mentioned this book. Uh, absolutely awesome book. I love the quality of the book too. It's just like very, it's nice and thick and yeah, just really awesome. Look at this, the sections are even color coded. So if you know what color you're on, you know where to go in the book. So if you don't have a bookmark, you can just say, oh, I'm somewhere here in the yellows and you can open it up and then just go straight to the yellows and you know you're in this general area. Graphing a line from a table of values. Really awesome book. Yeah, very happy with it. I think it's perfect. If you wanna know how to get started with math, this is a great, super affordable way to do it. I hope this video has helped someone out there. Again, it's everything you need to ace pre-algebra and algebra one in one big fact notebook. Until next time, good luck and take care.